hypothalamus secretes various hypothalamic hormones well what are these hypothalamic hormones and what are their functions we will see in this video hey everyone welcome to hm learnings i am harshita the creator of hm learnings where student come to clear their concept and to get the study material make sure that you have subscribed my channel so in the previous video we have discussed that hypothalamus is made up of group of nuclei and nuclei are actually the group of cell bodies in the brain okay so this hypothalamic nuclei perform the various hypothalamic functions and this various hypothalamic nuclei will secrete the various types of hypothalamic hormones so this is a figure which is from the gyanon and this figure actually explains the statement that hypothalamus is made up of various types of the nuclei so these are the various nuclei which are given in this diagram suggesting that the hypothalamus is made up of group of nuclei okay so now we classify the hypothalamic hormones as the anterior pituitary regulating hormones and the posterior pituitary regul uh, posterior pituitary hormones the other hormones actually there are or hormones which are secreted by the hypothalamus which regulates the appetite and the other functions but they are beyond the scope of this video in this video we only talk talk about the anterior pituitary regulating hormones and the posterior pituitary hormones so in the last video you have seen that the hypothalamus has a vascular connection with the anterior pituitary and it has a neural connection with the posterior pituitary so the question arises why we need a connection between these two different parts of the brain what is the purpose of the connection between the hypothalamus and the pituitary gland the purpose is that the hypothalamus wants to regulate the activity of the pituitary gland and that's why we need a connection and because both the anterior pituitary and posterior pituitary are different from each other the connection is also different between the anterior pituitary and the hypothalamus and between the posterior pituitary and the hypothalamus so anterior pituitary is the the secretions of the anterior pituitary are regulated by the certain types of the hormones which are secreted by the hypothalamus and these hormones because they are regulating the secretions of the anterior pituitary they are called as the anterior pituitary regulating hormones okay and they are classified as the releasing hormones releasing hormones means those hormones which activate which cause the secretion of the hormones from the anterior pituitary means they will stimulate the secretion of the anterior pituitary hormones and their hormones which are inhibiting hormones they inhibit the secretion of the anterior pituitary hormones okay then if we look at the posterior pituitary the posterior pituitary doesn't form any hormone by itself it actually secretes only the hormones which are made by the hypothalamus so there are two hormones which are made by the hypothalamus and they are secreted by the means of the posterior pituitary they are called as the adh and the oxytocin okay we will look one by one into these hormones okay so the anterior pituitary regulating hormones regulating the activity of the anterior pituitary they are also called as a hypophysiotropic because they are secreted in the hypophysial portal system which exits between the anterior pituitary and the hypothalamus okay we have already finished uh, with this in the previous video so please go and watch it hypophysiotropic because the hormones are secreted in the hypophysial portal system and through that it reaches the anterior pituitary so they are releasing hormones and they are inhibiting hormones one by one we talk about each of this okay so before that just a journal layout that how the endocrine system works okay so there is hypothalamus okay so hypothalamus will secrete a hormone okay and that hormone could be 
if we talk about the anterior pituitary it could be releasing hormone or it could be inhibiting hormone okay so it will act on the anterior pituitary on the cells of the anterior pituitary okay and then because of this hormone the anterior pituitary gets a signal from the hypothalamus so accordingly that the anterior pituitary will act okay if there is a releasing hormone there will be again a secretion of hormone from the anterior pituitary and that hormone will act on the target cell or you can say target organ in the body but if there is inhibiting hormone there will be no secretion of the hormone from the anterior pituitary okay so now we will talk each and every type of the hormone okay so first we will see the one type of the hormone okay so there is paraventricular nuclei as i said earlier that there are different types of the hypothalamic nuclei and each hypothalamic nuclei forms a hypothalamic hormone so here there is one type of the hypothalamic hormone known as a paraventricular nuclei okay now this paraventricular nuclei will actually form <coughs> sorry will actually form a horm uh, which actually form or secrete a hormone called as a corticotropin corticotropin releasing hormone okay corticotropin releasing hormone remember it is a releasing hormone also called as a crh so releasing hormones means what it will stimulate okay it will stimulate the cells of the anterior pituitary because it is corticotropin it will stimulate the corticotrop which is a cell type in the anterior pituitary okay and it will secrete a hormone because it is stimulated so it will secrete a hormone in response to that called as the adreno corticotropin hormone okay also called as a acth and this hormone will act on the gland called as the adrenal gland okay so this is how the whole system works the hypothalamus hypothalamic nuclei will secrete a hormone it is a releasing hormone means it actually stimulates the corticotrop to release the hormone okay so corticotropin releasing hormone means what it will cause the it will cause the release of the corticotropin okay this is also called as the corticotropin so it will cause a release of the corticotropin from the corticotrop which is a cell type in the anterior pituitary and this hormone will act on the adrenal gland okay or overall overall you can give a term to hold the system okay you can call it as that call it as hypothalamic hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis okay there is one hormone from the hypothalamus corticotropin releasing hormone then there is a hormone from the pituitary gland adrenocorticotropin hormone and finally then it act on the adrenal gland adrenal gland will further secrete the hormones okay uh, like uh, you can say glucocorticoid cortisol okay so that is why it is called as a hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis okay now similarly the next type of hormone is also secreted by the paraventricular nucleus and it is called as a thyrotropin releasing hormone so again releasing hormone means it will stimulate the thyrotrop because it is thyrotropin so it will stimulate the thyrotrop okay thyrotropin releasing hormone means it will stimulate the thyrotrop to secrete what to secrete thyrotropin okay to secrete thyrotropin or also known as a thyroid stimulating hormone so thyroid stimulating hormone means it will stimulate what it will stimulate the thyroid gland and thyroid gland after stimulating will secrete the thyroid hormone like t3 and t4 okay so this whole system is called as what hypothalamus pituitary because pituitary gland is also coming thyroid axis 
okay so hypothalamus secretes thyrotropin releasing hormone okay then pituitary gland will secrete the thyroid stimulating hormone or the thyrotropin and then thyroid gland will secrete the t3 and t4 okay then again another hormone is secreted by the preoptic nucleus of the hypothalamus called as a gonadotropin releasing horn gonadotropin so here it will act on what gonadotrop to release the gonadotropin okay so there are two gonadotropins here actually okay the uh, these two gonadotropins are what fsh and lh fsh are follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone so these these will act on the ovary in the case of the female and it will act on the testes in the case of the male okay so here this complete system is called as the hypothalamus pituitary which axis gonad axis okay then moving to the other the arcuate nucleus of the hypothalamus will secrete the growth hormone releasing hormone so it will act on the somatotrop to release what to release the growth hormone and growth hormone will act on the target organ to cause the growth of the body like the bone skeleton muscle and the body organs to increase in their size okay then we these are the releasing hormones now how the what are the inhibiting hormones and how they function okay so number one is the growth hormone inhibiting hormone so periventricular nuclei will secrete the growth hormone inhibiting hormone which is also called as a somatostatin so this will actually inhibit the somatotrop to it will inhibit the somatotrop hence what will happen the growth hormone will be less secreted okay then the next thing is now the next hormone is also the uh, prolactin inhibiting hormone so there is one nucleus called as a arcuate nucleus and it is called as a prolactin inhibiting hormone or also called as a dopamine okay there is one prolactin releasing factor also which is secreted by the hypothalamus but which hypothalamic nucleus secretes a prolactin releasing factor is not known and what is this prolactin releasing factor is also not known okay so i ha- uh, haven't made a separate slide for that so here uh, the prolactin inhibiting hormone is well known and that also called as a dopamine it will act on the uh it will actually inhibit the lactotrops in present in the anterior pituitary and hence there will be less secretion of the prolactin okay and the target organ of the prolactin is a breast okay uh the function of the prolactin is what it is the lactation okay so when there is dopamine inhibiting hormone secretion the lactation function is not happening okay it is not happening that much now this was about the anterior pituitary now we talk about the posterior pituitary so as i have said that posterior pituitary doesn't form its hormone it actually only secretes those hormones which are formed by the hypothalamus so there is one nuclei in the hypothalamus called as the supraoptic now the supraoptic nucleus will cause the secretion of antidiuretic hormone or the also called as a vasopressin so it is released by the neural connection between the post, uh, posterior pituitary and the hypothalamus to the posterior pituitary inside the posterior pituitary and when the stimulus stimulus comes for the secretion of the adh this the there will be release of the hormone from the posterior pituitary and it will act on the kidney and the blood vessel what is the function of this hormone and the respect and the other hormones we have covered in the previous slide we will see in the respective videos okay i will make the i will make video for each and every hormone so you can see the function of this hormones in that video this video is for discussing the hypothalamic hormones and the anterior and the posterior pituitary hormones and how the hypothalamus regulates the activity okay then 
the another hormone of the posterior pituitary is the oxytocin which is secreted by the paraventricular nucleus of the hypothalamus so again the same thing when a stimulus came it will be released from the posterior pituitary okay before that it will be stored in the posterior pituitary but it is formed by the hypothalamus okay and the target organ is the breast and the uterus again what are the functions of the oxytocin how it acts on the breast how it acts on the uterus we will see when we talk about the oxytocin okay so with this we reach we reach at the end of this video i hope that everything is clear to you please follow hm learnings on the facebook twitter and instagram for regular updates to boost your knowledge and to rock your viva also like share comment on this video please subscribe to hm learnings till then keep learning